Hello everyone and welcome to Robotics, ROS and Mechatronics tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to properly set up and use a USB camera in Raspberry Pi 5. And over here you can see in real time video captured by the camera. The main motivation for creating this video tutorial comes from the fact that online you can find a number of tutorials suggesting to use specially dedicated cameras for Raspberry Pi 5 or 4. Well, my suggestion is not to do that. Instead of specially dedicated cameras, to start with computer vision or robotics in Raspberry Pi 5, you can use a simple USB camera such as this one over here that you can probably find in your nearest computer shop or maybe in your office or near your desktop computer. Later on, if you need, you can buy a high performance USB camera that can be used for professional computer vision and robotics applications. Over here, you can see the experimental setup. I'm using Raspberry Pi 5 with eight gigabyte RAM. I install a solid state drive you can see it over here. This is the mounting base and the inside is a solid state drive. I installed the solid state drive to increase the write and read speed of Raspberry Pi 5. And this is crucial for robotics and computer vision applications since often you will need to save large videos to disks or to load them from disks. Then I'm using this old USB camera. The camera is really nothing special. However, it will serve the purpose of demonstrating how to set up a USB camera in Raspberry Pi 5. And as I shown at the beginning of this video tutorial, over here you can see the real time video that's displayed on the computer screen that's attached to my Raspberry Pi. But before I start with explanations, here is one very important comment. I'm running Linux Ubuntu 24.04 on Raspberry Pi 5. Now, since Raspberry Pi 5 has enough memory and power to run Ubuntu, I suggest to everyone to run Ubuntu, any version, for example, I'm running Linux Ubuntu 24.04, and the main reason for that is that Linux Ubuntu is much more powerful and better supported than the operating system that the company that produces Raspberry Pi 5 advertises. Consequently, install Linux Ubuntu on your Raspberry Pi 5. If, for example, you're using Raspberry Pi 4, you can still install Linux Ubuntu. However, the performance will not be as good as in the case of Raspberry Pi 5. Okay, so let's briefly summarize the prerequisites. First of all, you need a USB camera, then you need a Raspberry Pi 5 with at least 4 GB RAM. In this video tutorial, I'm using Raspberry Pi 5 with 8 GB RAM. More RAM, better. Then, you need Linux Ubuntu 22.04 or Linux Ubuntu 24.04. Better install Linux Ubuntu 24.04 since it is newer and this is very important if you plan to use ROS. You can find a video tutorial on my channel how to install Linux Ubuntu 24.04 on Raspberry Pi 5. Okay, so let's start with the setup process. First of all, make sure that you have the proper Linux distribution. For that purpose, open a terminal you can find the terminal by clicking here and by searching for terminal. And then in the terminal, you need to type this command lsb underscore release. And you need an option A. I forgot it always. So here it is. You can see that I'm currently using Ubuntu 24.04. Again, my suggestion is not to use the official Raspberry Pi operating system. Use Linux Ubuntu. The next step is to attach the USB camera to your computer. After you do that, we need to verify that Raspberry Pi 5 can see the camera. To do that, you need to type this.
here it is. This will list the USB camera devices. And of course, you need to enter your password. Here it is. You can see the product, HD web camera, manufacturer, HD web camera. You can see the serial number and you can see other information which are very important. Another thing to verify is this thing. That is list under the device folder. Oops, I made an error. List anything related to video. And if the camera exists on your system, after executing this command, you should see video 001, video 1, etc. This means that the camera is recognized by Raspberry Pi 5. Okay, let's continue. There are several issues I experienced when I tried to run the camera on Linux Ubuntu. This does not only apply to Raspberry Pi 5, it also applies to desktop computers. Okay, so let me show you what is the issue. First of all, Linux Ubuntu comes with the program called Snapshot. So if you click here, you should search for Snapshot or Camera. So if you search for Camera here instead of Snapshot, you will also see this program. Now, if you open up this program, this program is capable to read your camera for some reason right now and everything works as expected. However, the first time I attached the camera to Raspberry Pi, it didn't work. If you experience this issue, then you need to follow the things that I will explain in the sequel. Instead of using this default program that sometimes works and sometimes doesn't work, I'm going to use Cheese. Cheese was an official program for reading camera input in Linux Ubuntu 22.04. However, in the newest version of Ubuntu, that is in Ubuntu 24.04, they switched from Cheese to Snapshot. I don't know why they did that. However, Snapshot does not work properly. Okay, so let's learn how to install Cheese. First of all, you need to run this. That is, you need to update and upgrade your system. Whenever you want to install any software or any device on your Raspberry Pi or, or on your Linux Ubuntu system, always run these two commands, sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Okay, then after that, run this command to install snapd. Most likely you already have snapd on your computer, however, still double check it. Okay, and finally, let's install cheese. To install cheese, simply run this command. Oops, I didn't run this command. I need to run cheese. I made an error here. And let me install cheese. Okay, as you can see already here, cheese is installed on my system. However, in your case, you'll see the installation process. And let's test cheese. So click over here and search for cheese. And you can run cheese. And over here, after running cheese, cheese opens up and you can see in real time camera recording. Now, what happens over here, since I'm also recording my desktop, probably the camera might be slow. However, let's test some effects. So if you click here, there are some different things that we can choose. For example, we can choose this dice effect, or we can, for example, choose this flip, which is another interesting thing. Or over here, you can even record black and white video, which is another interesting thing. Okay, so let's, for example, apply edges. This is essentially applying a high pass filter to the video which detects the edges, which is a nice feature. And you can also have this Kung Fu, which is probably something like a blurred or yes, it's completely blurred. Then what else do we have over here? Let's see what is this burst. Let's just select this thing, no effect. And let's inspect the preferences, which is another important thing. Over here, you can select the photo resolution I will keep the maximum resolution possible. You can also change 
a camera if you have several cameras on your system. For images, you can also play with brightness, with contrast, saturation, hue. And here is for the capture. How many photos do you want to capture? Delay between taking photos. Do you want countdown? Do you want fire flash? Etc. To summarize, Cheese is a very nice program that can be used to record the camera output. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. That's all and see you in the next video tutorial.